Okay, this is uh, a data set mentioned in section 2.3 of the book. It's pulse rates for uh, a number of randomly selected females. And what we're going to do is show you how you can use DDXL to do a couple of uh, easy things, like get some summary statistics and a histogram and etc. So notice that all the observations are in a vertical column. That's what you'd want to do. And we've got the name of the variable up here. You don't have to include that, but it's maybe a good thing to put there. The number one thing you have to remember is make sure you highlight your data that you want to graph or get summarized. So the first thing we do is highlight the data and then go into add-ins and DDXL. And it gives us a number of options there. We can do summaries or charts and plots. Those are the two that we're going to focus on right now. Let's first do a summary. It asks us what type of summary we want. Summary by groups or summary of one variable. And we just have one variable, so we'll click summary of one variable. If you include the name as the first entry, it's going to include the name of the variable right here, pulse rates. So it's maybe good to do that so you know which variable you're referring to. So if we highlight that and then arrow that over, this is saying that we want to use to analyze this particular variable. By the way, if you choose not to include the first row as the name of the variable, uncheck that box. Then we would click OK, and it takes us to this screen with the output. It gives us all the summary statistics there. There are 29 observations. The average is 73.517. The median is 72. The standard deviation is 13.498, etc. If you forget, it gives you a little bit of a definition there of what those mean. Let's now look at how we would graph some of it. It's basically the same process, except we go into charts and plots. Now we have a large selection of different types of graphs we could do. Histogram is definitely one we're going to want to do, possibly a normal probability plot, but you could also do a dot plot, or box plot, or various other things. We select histogram. Again, you need to tell it which variable you're going to use. So arrow over on pulse rate. Make sure first, variable name is, first row is variable name is checked because that's what we have. And click OK. And it takes us to this screen. So looking at this, this is a histogram of the data. And we see this long right tail. So we would definitely say that this is a right skewed uh, data set. And again, it gives us some of the basic summary stats here as well. Let's close that. And finally, let's do a normal probability plot. Recall that in a normal probability plot, uh, if we have linearity, that indicates normality. So looking at this, our normal probability plot has quite a bit of curvature to it, so we would be very inclined to say that our data set probably did not come from a normal population. So, and you can see uh, doing the other types of charts and plots are done in exactly the same way. You select that and just select the type that you want to do.